Hello everyone. So today I am with a new experiment which is on OPAM and the name of this experiment is OPAM used as a low pass filter and a high pass filter. So we are going to use OPAM as our low pass filter and high pass filter. Okay. So here you can see here I have uh, created a little doc file here. Okay. So basically, what is filter now? It is basically a circuit that has designed to pass a specified band of frequencies while attenuating all the signal outside that band. The band which is going to be passed through the circuit or through the that filter is called the pass band. Okay. So basically, filter is of two types: the active and the passive one. So passive are those filter which are not having any active components such as transistor, op amps, and extra. But the active filters employ transistor, op amps. In addition to those uh, transistor and op amps, resistor, capacitor, and inductors are present. Okay, these things are not present in uh, the passive one. Okay, so active filter are ha having many advantage over the passive filter. Okay, so. Uh, here, the high input and low input output resistance of the op amp, the active filter does not cause loading of the source or load. Okay, so basically, uh, when we are talking about low pass filter and or high pass filter, what we say now? So low pass filter has a pass band of zero hertz to the highest cutoff frequency of that filter. So the highest cutoff frequency is that frequency basically, by which the gain is three dB. Okay. So afterwards, what happens if the wave is having uh, larger frequency than the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter, then it gets attenuated, its voltage or magnitude decreases, okay, as the frequency of the wave increases. So the frequency is between 0 hertz and cutoff frequency is called pass band frequency, okay, whereas the frequency beyond the cutoff frequency is called stop band frequency. But practically, what happens now? Uh, to a literal uh, large amount of frequency also this wave passes but with higher attenuation okay so a common use of low pass filter is to remove noise or unwanted high frequency signal okay corresponding if you'll see a high pass filter then it is having uh, the stop band for 0 to fl this fl is the cutoff frequency for the high pass filter okay and from 0 to fl this high pass filter is not allowing the wave to pass through it theoretically okay but practically some of the waves passes okay but with lower magnitude okay at as the uh, filter give it higher attenuation okay but after the fl part okay if the uh, wave is having higher frequency then this cutoff frequency of this high pass filter then the wave is going to be passed okay easily okay so here uh, is the circuit diagram you can see here this one is active low pass filter and here this is active high pass filter. So here uh, this one is the OPAM 741IC okay here are the pin diagram you can see the first one is offset null second one is inverting third one is non inverting in fourth one we are going to give negative of voltage. And fifth one is offset null, sixth one is for output, seventh one is for positive voltage, and we are not going to require this eighth one. Okay. Now you can see here uh, there is a slight difference between the circuit diagram of uh, this active low pass filter and high pass filter. What is basically uh, the difference? I am just going to little by minimize this thing so that you could look it easily. Okay. Now it's fine. So you could look it here. Okay, so this op-amp is being used firstly as an inverting part. Okay, that means we are going to use this op-amp as an inverting, as inverting amplifier. Okay, so here we can see here that uh, the capacitor is used in series with the resistor with the input voltage V1 in active high pass filter. But in the low pass filter, this capacitor is being used in parallel with the feedback resistance so we can say the capacitor is also acting as a feedback capacitor okay in the low pass filter so these are the difference basic difference between uh, this active low pass filter and, and high pass filter 
so we are going now to uh, build the circuit in multisim and we will see the characteristic of uh, uh, this filter practically so here is my multisim so now i am going to perform this experiment so actually i would take uh, ic741 here then afterwards uh, i would take ground also from the source i would need a vcc also and i would also need the negative voltage so i would take a vu now i would uh, take in the basic part i will take capacitor and resistor so we will take uh, one kilo ohm of uh, so in the resistor part we are going to take one kilo ohm of resistor here okay so in this uh, pam part we are not going to give any uh, gain thing there so we are not going to use a high value of resistor in the feedback part okay we will do that thing uh, the pam will also amplify the circuit okay sorry uh, the input voltage so in the capacitor uh, we will use uh, around uh, uh, just take suppose 40 uh, microfarad okay now how to know that what should be the cutoff frequency of the filter so as you know uh, the formula for cutoff frequency is 1 by 2 pi r c okay so just i will use my calculator here so the formula is 1 by 2 pi r c okay so uh, if you will calculate that what would be the cutoff frequency when we are giving these kind of values of component here so 1 kilo ohm resistor and 40 microfarad of capacitor i am using so just take a lower value of capacitor only just take 40 nanofarad only okay okay so uh, if you will calculate by the help of calculator here so the value would of the denominator would be 2 pi into r into c so that means 2 into 3.14 this is 2 pi into r our r is uh, 1 kilo ohm okay so that is 1000 into c so c is 40 nanofarad okay so nanofarad is 10 to the power minus 9 okay so uh, 10 to the power minus 9 when it will go to numerator it will become 10 to the power 9 okay so we are going to let that 10 to the power minus 9 to numerator and we would be left with 40 only in the denominator so i would uh, multiply just this thing with our 40 so this would be our denominator okay 251200 okay now i will uh, just subtract sorry not subtract i will just divide this thing okay so for that thing i would just erase this thing So 10 to the power 9 would be. Uh, this is 10 to the power 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this should be divided by 251200. Just see here what is the cutoff frequency here. So our cutoff frequency would be 3980. That is around uh, 4 kilohertz of frequency. Okay. So this would be our cutoff frequency. Okay. here you can see the calculation which i have done so we are going to make a filter which is having cutoff frequency of around 4 kilohertz or 3980 kilohertz so this would be our cutoff frequency both in the case of high pass and low pass filter so for making this circuit i will just uh, flip this thing vertically now i would add this 1 kilo ohm resistor to here pin number 2 then this 1 kilo ohm resistor and this r2 and this uh, capacitor would be connected in parallel as i have shown you in the circuit here just see here this capacitor and this resistor would be connected in parallel i would 
just displace this V to here and this would be connected to the output part of the soap amp that is pin number 6 and this capacitor would be connected here in parallel done now I would connect this uh, 5 volt minus 5 volt power source to here okay this thing I will flip vertically now it looks good okay now I need to connect here my input voltage so that is my AC so I would need a function generator from here positive part to this 1 kilo ohm resistor and negative part I would just add it to ground and the pin number 3 is also being added to the ground only now for analyzing uh, I will use my oscilloscope so one part would be connected here at pin number 6 here so that I could analyze the output and other end of the oscilloscope I would connect to this input voltage source okay it has been connected finally so negative part I would connect to the ground only I will just copy this ground by control C okay done I have connected the circuit now since both of the output are in red color so I would just change one of the colors suppose change this output color to uh, suppose violet okay now the circuit looks uh, good now I will change the voltage here which I am going to give here to the op amp just take it to be around uh, 15 volt so plus 15 volt to pin number 7 and minus 15 volt to pin number 4 So this thing I have done now uh, will change the value of the voltage here so since the cutoff frequency is 4 kilohertz so just take any frequency which is lower than 4 kilohertz change this voltage peak to peak to 5 volt now it's okay now we can run the circuit now just see here the analyzing part okay I will reverse this thing so that it could look good and I'm going to decrease this time based division so now you can see here both of the wave okay you can look here that uh, the channel A and channel B scale division 5 volt per division and both of the wave are having uh, two squares magnitude in the upper and in the lower side also okay so we can say here that uh, both the magnitude of the wave of the both of the wave is same okay so uh, I will increase this frequency suppose uh, I'm going to use here uh, 10 kilohertz okay 10,000 Hertz is there okay or you could simply uh, choose here kilohertz okay or here you can write 10 okay it's up to you so in 10,000 Hertz just see what happens so here you can see when we have increased here the voltage sorry the frequency to 10 kilohertz you can see here uh, this blue line sorry this violet line which is of uh, the output through the op amp it has decreased okay the magnitude has been decreased okay so this means that yes our filter is working very finely okay very nicely and when we have increased the voltage sorry the frequency more than the cutoff frequency of this filter this filter is attenuating the signal okay so it will attenuate up to a very large amount of time for a very, very large amount of frequency and then afterwards it will stop it eventually this thing is what theory, theory say okay so uh, now if you want to check that uh, the cutoff frequency which we have calculated theoretically which was around uh, 4 kilohertz this 4 kilohertz is the cutoff frequency practically also or not you can check that thing also okay for that thing uh, so for uh, doing that thing firstly we will uh, change here the voltage a low voltage for low voltage AC sweep uh, we are doing here okay we can also change here the frequency if you want you 
didn't need to change the frequency here okay as the frequency will run from the lower value to a, to, to, to a very higher value okay now for running this thing we will choose here the IC sweep just click on this interactive thing and choose here the IC sweeps okay so here you can see the start frequency is running from 1 hertz to stop frequency of 10 hertz not 10 hertz it the written it is written here the value 10 10 okay yeah, so you can change here uh, the unit it can run up to these things values okay you could choose gigahertz megahertz also but we don't need a very high value okay so here in the vertical scale i have chosen decibel as i have done this experiment already okay so you could choose linear octave logarithmic also but since we need the magnitude of 3 db so i have chosen here decibel okay now in the output part here uh, all the variables are present for which uh, we can analyze okay all the output variables are present which we can analyze and in this part in this block we do need to put those variable which we are analyzing okay so we are analyzing uh, this output part which is coming from pin number six okay so just check here that what is the name of this thing okay so i will just cancel this thing i will double click on this thing i will uh, just check here the name is two okay so you could also put here any name if you want and click on uh, this ok button so uh, now just click on this interactive again AC sweep in the output part just see here the V output is here add it on this side ok and now click on run button ok now you can see here the AC analysis here ok so we will check here that for 3 dB that is magnitude in this Y scale our frequency which is in the X scale is 4 kilohertz or not which we have learned from the theory part and which we have calculated okay so here uh, just look this one is the cursor 1 this one is the cursor 2 okay so these are the coordinate of the cursor 1 and cursor 2 okay so x1 y1 shows the coordinate of this cursor 1 and x2 y2 shows the coordinate of this cursor 2 okay so uh, just move it here okay so this x1 is showing me the value of this coordinate okay in the x-axis which is having the frequency value and this y1 would show me the value of decibel in this y-axis okay so i'm going to just increase this cursor from here to here and just check that we are at 4 kilohertz of frequency we are getting around 3 decibel of output or not yes just see here at x1 that is frequency is around 4 kilohertz you can see here that the gain that is y1 is around 3 decibel okay so this means that our filter is working perfectly in this part okay so uh, this has been the part for this low pass filter now we will go for the high pass filter okay also if you want uh, you could plot the data okay for plotting the data you could use here export to excel it will export all the data to the excel okay so when you trace one only v output we are needing click on this ok button an excel sheet would open okay so just see here this one is excel sheet okay this is a this is b this x axis is the v output for this frequency and this y axis is for our magnitude okay so here uh, this magnitude is being for linear okay so we don't need to ch check this thing okay so uh, we will now move on to the high pass filter okay so i'm not going to change the circuit very much okay neither i am going to change the value here and uh, i will change the circuit here only so the cutoff frequency would remain same but as we have seen here that the capacitor which was connected here in parallel with RF that is our feedback register that capacitor that feedback capacitor is now being connected in series with the register okay through which input voltage is coming so I would uh, just delete this thing or I will just uh, control X this thing which will cut it from there and I will control V it here okay now I do need to paste this thing here okay so just move this register a little bit left side just delete this connection just connect here 
okay now connect this 40 nano farad capacitor here from here to here and here to here okay now this is being connected so we can see here this is now our high pass filter okay so in this case also since we haven't changed here the capacitor and register values so our cutoff frequency is currently also 4 kilohertz okay now for this thing run the ac sweep okay now you can see here the graph is like this thing okay so in this case also uh, we will see that what happens when uh, we are getting 4 kilohertz of frequency let's see what is the decibel value click on the cursor okay now uh, just run this thing so uh, this one is cursor number one so while we are running this thing just look at the value there this value okay this one is x cursor number one so i am going to increase it to 4 kilohertz so x1 is now showing around 4 kilohertz yeah it is 4 kilohertz so you can see here when the frequency is 4 kilohertz okay that is of the x axis data of x1 the y1 data that is the magnitude data that is 3 db so this means that our high pass filter is working also very nicely okay if you want you can check it with cursor number 2 also okay suppose cursor number 2 is here okay now remember since we are using cursor 2 so its data would be shown by x2 and y2 okay so just run it here from here so our cursor 2 x2 position is now 4 kilohertz yes it's now 4 kilohertz so when x2 position is 4 kilohertz you can see here that y2 is showing me 3.08 that is approximately 3 decibel okay so around 4 kilohertz of frequency also uh, we are getting 3 decibel of gain okay so this is the part of this high pass filter also by the help of ac sweep we can deduce here that yes our filter is working very nicely and by the help of uh, this cursor output we are seeing that yes uh, by the help of uh, this filter we can use this filter for uh, 4 kilohertz cutoff frequency for the circuit which we have made so you could uh, see here uh, literally by the interactive simulation also that our uh, frequency is currently 100 hertz 1000 hertz okay so when i should run it it would this uh, amplifier would attenuate it not the, this uh, op amp would attenuate it okay because our cut cut uh, our frequency is lesser than the cutoff frequency so just uh, run this thing check here just stop this simulation and i would just uh, lower down this scale division of channel a and channel b and i would just increase this time based division okay so you can see here the red one which is the input voltage it is higher than the violet one which is the output voltage okay as the output voltage is low why because our frequency is lower than the cutoff frequency okay now just increase this cutoff frequency to suppose 10,000 hertz okay again run this simulation now just stop this thing okay and now we are going to decrease here the time scale now you can see here uh, our red signal okay that is the input one it is nearly uh, equal to that of our uh, violet wave that is of the output one that means that the wave is going nicely through the filter okay this has happened because now the filter is not attenuating the output signal that is passing through the pin number six okay so by the help of these oscilloscope data and by the help of the cursor data through the AC sweep, we can uh, properly see that yes, our filter is working very nicely. Okay, so this was the end of the experiment. I hope you understood that how to use the OPAM for high pass filter and low pass filter. So thank you for watching.